Get ready to witness a rare and mysterious astronomical spectacle, a hybrid solar eclipse that's set to occur on April 20th, 2023. Eclipse chasers worldwide will tell you about the three well-known types of solar eclipses. The first is the partial eclipse, the most common, but the least impressive, where the moon only partially covers the sun, casting a partial shadow called the penumbra across a portion of the Earth. The second is the annular solar eclipse, where the moon blocks the center of the sun, leaving a mesmerizing ring of fire visible from within a shadow known as the antumbra. And the third is the total solar eclipse, where the moon completely covers the sun, unveiling the stunning sight of the solar corona that can be seen with the naked eye from within the moon's dark shadow, the umbra. But wait, there's a fourth one. The most intriguing and rarest of all solar eclipses is the hybrid solar eclipse, which only occurs a few times in a century. It's a fascinating combination of the previous three types of eclipses, and as fate would have it, the next solar eclipse on Earth will be of this type. In the 21st century, just 3% of all solar eclipses are hybrid solar eclipses. The last hybrid solar eclipse to occur was 10 years ago, on November 3, 2013, visible in northern Kenya and Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. So brace yourself for the coming hybrid solar eclipse, a cosmic event that's not only the most captivating but also arguably the most globally spectacular and interesting eclipse there is. Here's all you need to know about this breathtaking astronomical phenomenon. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. During this magnificent event, the annular eclipse transitions into a total eclipse, and then often reverts back to an annular eclipse again. This creates an extraordinary opportunity for viewers located in different parts of the eclipse's path to witness varying phenomena. If you're witnessing the eclipse at sunrise or sunset, you'll catch a glimpse of the fleeting ring of fire. However, if you observe it at midday, the midpoint of the eclipse's path across the Earth's surface, you'll experience a total solar eclipse. One thing to note is that it's impossible to witness both an annular and a total solar eclipse at the same time during a hybrid solar eclipse. This spectacular event promises to be a unique and unforgettable experience for all who get to witness it. The science behind a hybrid solar eclipse is nothing short of fascinating. These rare celestial events occur when the moon's distance from Earth is just right for its umbral shadow to barely reach the Earth's surface. This, combined with the curvature of the Earth, creates a unique situation where the moon's apex is positioned slightly above the Earth's surface at the beginning and end of the eclipse path, causing an annular solar eclipse. However, as the eclipse moves towards the middle of its path, the moon's umbral shadow hits the Earth's surface because that part of the planet is slightly closer to the moon. This creates a total solar eclipse, resulting in a remarkable hybrid solar eclipse that's truly one of a kind. It's an event that stirs the imagination and ignites a passion for the cosmos in all who get to witness it. Remember, it's never safe to look directly at the sun. The harmful ultraviolet and infrared rays can cause severe damage to the retina and even result in permanent blindness. It's also crucial to remember that regular sunglasses are not safe for observing the sun. The only safe way to observe the sun directly is through the use of specially designed solar filters. Solar eclipse glasses are a great budget-friendly option for direct viewing, while solar filters are necessary for telescopes and binoculars. So when and where can you see the solar eclipse? On April 20th, the full hybrid solar eclipse can be viewed from three land locations, namely Exmouth in Western Australia, East Timor, and West Papua. In Exmouth, Australia, the eclipse will commence at 10.04 a.m. local time when the moon starts to pass in front of the sun. This will culminate in a total solar eclipse at 11.30 a.m., during which the moon will entirely obscure the sun. The total solar eclipse will last about a minute, following which the moon will gradually move away from the sun until it exits the sun's edge at 1.02 p.m. The hybrid solar eclipse will also be visible in several locations in East Timor, including Watulari, Iliomar, and Somoko. The eclipse is expected to begin at 11.45 local time, and the total solar eclipse will occur at 1.20 p.m., lasting for approximately one minute. The moon will then gradually move away from the sun, 
and the eclipse will end at 2.56 p.m. The third location to witness the hybrid solar eclipse is in the southern part of Babo in West Papua. The eclipse will commence at 12.11 p.m. local time and reach its totality at 1.48 p.m., lasting approximately one minute. Following this, the moon will gradually move away from the sun until the eclipse concludes at 3.20 p.m. Enjoy the hybrid solar eclipse and thanks for watching.